you know, uh, we know that MS is an autoimmune disease, right? And what that means is that there is an imbalance in, in the in immune system uh, between the, the two arms. So within the immune system, you have like what the immune system is meant to do is to fight off bacteria and infections. So if you have an infection, your immune system is revved up, it, it, it gets, becomes more inflammatory, fights off this bacteria, then at some point that inflammation is not good for your body. So, and once the bacteria are gone, that you have aspects of your immune system, which are regulatory and then calm the immune system down, right? And so, so the, those are the two aspects of your immune system. You need both, right? And uh, for things to function normally. And in MS, what's happening is for some reason, your immune cells in your, in your blood are getting activated. They cross over into your brain and they're causing damage. And you don't have enough regulatory aspects of your immune cells, or there's a breakdown in that aspect that lets this happen. And so that's why inflammation is important. That's what's causing the damage in MS uh, is that excessive inflammation. And that's why it matters, right? And that's why uh, I'm talking about certain gut bacteria that can make your immune system more inflammatory versus others that make it less inflammatory. Uh, and how, and what we think the problem is that the makeup is changed so that this balance is out of whack. And that's, that's what's causing the problem.